What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 11 Episode 4 and the episode is titled Overexposed you guys. So before we get into the review if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys have not already subscribed to the channel why are we still going out on dates and I'm having to pay for my dinner and you guys you know leave me leave me to pay for it. Hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell button, and hit that like button. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into this episode, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode, um, it's a brand new day for the ladies. So we see um, Renna, we see Crystal, and then we see Erica, and she comes down where they are, and Erica asks, you know, actually, and Garcelle was there as well. So Erica asks Crystal, how is she? Because she feels that, you know, the situation with Sutton, you know, she feels like Sutton is taking things out on Crystal and it's not deserved, which 100% I agree with her. The things that are going on between Sutton and Crystal, she does not deserve what's happening. Speaking of Crystal, there are people on social media that want to call Crystal a, um, what are they calling her? A race baiter, which I'm like, what makes her such a race baiter? Like people, never mind. So then Garcelle says that, you know, there's a lot, there might be a lot of things going on with um, Sutton, but I was like, Garcelle, even though it, it might be a lot of things going on in Sutton's life, that doesn't mean that Sutton has the right to do what she's doing. Like, there's a lot going on in my life right now, but I'm not going to go off on the next person that I see. I'm going to be kind. So then they have breakfast and that breakfast, oh my God, that breakfast looks so freaking good. So then Renna, Renna decided that she's going to go check in on Sutton. So when she does, Sutton tells her that, you know, she's just a little angry and that, you know, she was upset about the night before and what happened at the table. Now, I will give Sutton that, that what happened at the table, although it was a joke, you know, nobody wants to feel left out of things. So I got Sutton in that instance, but the way she acted afterwards was unwarranted. And I'm glad, so Kyle came up, and I'm really glad that Kyle told Sutton that she was irrational, so I'm gonna add that to my list of words. Irrational, um, you know, what, what, ridiculous. She's, I'm like, really? <laughs> and when Brenna was in her interview with the producers, she's like, if I took a list of the words that everyone called me, a wanker, a bitch. I'm like, damn, people have called you a lot of things over the years, Brenna, and you still act the same way. Okay, so then we see Garcelle and Crystal. So Garcelle and Crystal, they went out for coffee. So Crystal is just telling Garcelle about the situation with her and Sutton. And, you know, Crystal tells her that she just has some mixed feelings. And then they talk about the conversation where, you know, Sutton said it was not about race. Um, I'm still on Sutton. I'm not Sutton's side. I'm still on Gar uh, Crystal's side. I don't really care what people say. You guys can have your opinions. That's what we're here for. But I'm still on Crystal's side. I don't see anything that Crystal really did wrong. So I'm on Crystal's side. So let's move on. All right, you guys, next the ladies. So they go on a boat ride and they showed us all the boat rides that they have been on where none of them have been really good. They did show us one boat ride that was fun, but the rest of them, boat rides from hell. So then on the boat, Garcelle and um, Erica, they were discussing Tom. I was like, ooh, I know hindsight has got to be 2020 at this point. Like, seriously. Because, you know, um, Erica's talking about how he's working in the office, and I'm like, ooh. Yeah, hindsight's got to be 2020. The one thing I will say is, again, I love me some Kathy. Kathy is my girl. I love me some Kathy. So on the boat, Dorit and Erica noticed that Sutton looked like she was a bit down, looked like she was gonna cry, which it did look like she was gonna cry. So Erica's like, hey babe, everything okay with you? And Sutton got a little bit defensive for me. I was like, why are you so defensive, love? Like it ain't that deep. She just asked you, were you okay? Like if somebody, if somebody, if I just, like sometimes I'd be deep in thought and I just look, people ask me, are you okay? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm just thinking. I'm like, oh, okay, just want to make sure. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. But the way she came at them, I'm like, it wasn't that deep love. It really wasn't. Um, so then sudden she pulls Crystal to the side and she's talking to Crystal about, you know, how she felt. 
and she says that she doesn't do name calling. I'm like, I think Teddy Mellencamp would disagree with that because then you, in not so many words, say she was boring last season, but okay, whatever. So then she feels, she says she, she feels Crystal can be abrupt with her. Really? After one conversation? You know what? These are these are sudden feelings. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to sit here and say she she's entitled to feel the way she wants to feel. Do I agree with them? Absolutely not. I think sudden sudden is overly sensitive. And I do love Crystal and the fact that she she said how she felt about um you know uh sudden that she felt like she was giving her crazy vibes. I'm like oh, I like them. So then somehow sudden managed to flip that and make it about her. That it was about, you know, she's just in her, she's just, you know, upset about leaving her forever, what home she thought it was her forever home. I'm like, okay, that still doesn't okay you doing the things that you've been doing and acting the way that you've acted. I don't understand. But okay, whatever. Oh, so the episode wasn't that long. Well, the episode was long, but it just wasn't a lot in the episode. Okay. But yeah, you know, she and Sudden, I mean, Sudden and Crystal said that they're going to take baby steps with each other. I'm like, eh, okay, if you say so. It ain't going to work out. It really is not. So then we see all the ladies and they are getting ready for dinner. So then, you know, um... Now, see, this is interesting. They didn't, sh they sh so they did show that, you know, um, Crystal, they asked where Crystal was. So Crystal at that time, allegedly, she texts um, Garcelle and she texts Kyle and told them that she wasn't coming to dinner. Which I thought was interesting. I mean, she, she'll later explain why she didn't, but I did think it was interesting that she didn't come to dinner with the ladies. And it, I also thought it was interesting that at the table, that's when Sudden decided that she wanted to apologize to all the ladies about her actions, you know, how, the way she acted and everything, which like I said, once again, very interesting. Like, why did you choose this moment to apologize? Because you had ample opportunity the night before, even Kyle was telling you the night before that you were looking ridiculous, you, you, you know, you needed to calm down, you needed to act like a grown, uh, an adult, and you still didn't. So now in this moment, you want to be Miss Peacemaker? Very confusing for me. Just being honest with you guys, it was just a little confusing for me. So <laughs> Kathy made the joke, it'll come back up later. Unfortunately, it will come back up later. Unfortunately. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be sudden that brings it up. So where are we at now? Yeah, she apologized and she mentions her home again. And like I said a few minutes ago, I get it. You know, I'm in a situation with living situ. I'm in a, in a similar situation where I've been given a runaround with this apartment complex that I live in. And then today they just want to give me, I mean, they literally gave me the runaround today. I took the app, they gave me an application last week to fill out, which I didn't understand why I was filling out an application. When I currently live in an apartment here, we're just transferring me. So I didn't understand why I was filling out a new application. And then when I go in there, they want to say, oh, you don't, you can't afford the apartment that I was looking at. Oh, you can't afford this apartment. I'm like, excuse me, I can't afford this apartment. And then when I've said show them proof that I can afford it oh well we can't hold this apartment that long what the fuck are you talking about the apartment is not available now that apartment is not available until July so what do y'all mean y'all can't hold this apartment so eventually I just said you know what forget it I'm done don't worry about it if I have to be homeless I'd rather be homeless than deal with you guys because you guys have given me the run around for weeks but and that upset, that changed my mood today. And I had, to, you know, and there were other things that I had to do today. And I went and did the things that I needed to do. And I was pleasant to everybody that I dealt with. Like I had to turn in some stuff, you know, I had to, um, a few weeks ago, my cable box went out in my apart, in my bedroom and they had to send me a new cable box. 
and they told me, okay, when you get the new, when you get the new one, just take your old one to a eight, you know, to a UPS store, give them your account number, and you know, give them your account number, and that'll be that. And that's what I did. I took that. I was so pleasant to the, you know, the gentleman that helped me. Didn't give him any attitude. But you know, like I said, I was in a bad mood because of what happened with the apartment. But I didn't take it out on anybody, so I just don't understand sudden using this as an excuse. It's not an excuse. Yes, shit happens, but we don't. You don't have the. You don't take it out on other people. Is what I feel. So now, what I will say is, I do understand Sudden's point of view when she was talking about she felt left out at the table. I get that. Nobody wants to feel left out of anything. That part I get. I got that. Then Renna. Renna, you should have kept this story to yourself. So Renna, you just need to own up to the fact that you are a terrible friend when it comes to the women on this show. Just say that. But this story that she told, I don't understand what it has to do with anything. So Harry has a friend. They went out to dinner one night. After dinner, Harry's friend went and raped a woman. Terrible. And then I guess some of Harry's friends thought that they should be in support of the friend. And Harry said, no, he's not going to do that, which absolutely not. Don't support someone who raped a woman. No. But Rena was trying to compare this to the situation with Denise. I was with Garcelle. Girl, this is not the same. That man raped someone. He raped someone. He assaulted someone. Denise didn't rape nor assault anyone, so I don't understand what that comparison was. You really should have kept that you really should have kept that one in your brain. Like kept it up here and never and you should as Garcelle said, you should never ever tell that story again. Never. Well it's on television, but God never tell that story again just say that you are a terrible friend so then the ladies you know they after that so I, and also I'm, I'm assuming Brenna was alluding to the fact that she knows a lot more about Denise than what she said so she's just keeping it to herself might as well you, you should, might as well just said it because I mean you put it out there now that you know something about her that others don't know I would never do that to a friend I would never be like oh I know something about my friend that other people don't know. That's not, I mean, still, although you're keeping the secret or what, or you're, you're, you're protecting them semi, you're still holding over their head. Like I know something about you. If I wanted to tell it, I could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to be friends with Rena. Um, so yeah, the ladies, they have a good night and then Crystal comes downstairs and she talks to Kyle so Crystal tells Kyle that when Sutton came up to her room, you know, with her coat the night before, that Crystal had just got out of the shower and that, you know, she, you know, Sutton did not. So maybe Sutton says she knocked. Maybe Crystal didn't hear it. I don't know. But when Sutton came in her room, Crystal dug down and covered herself up because she was naked. And she felt some type of way about that. And then also, you know, um, Sutton said something like, you know, whatever you're doing over there, like, you didn't have this. Now, that is something you didn't have to say. And I got where Crystal was coming from. Like, if I don't know you that well, please don't just, just because you knock on my door, wait for me to say, come in. Don't just open up the door and come in. Wait to be acknowledged. That's the thing. Wait to be acknowledged. And that's friends or family. Like, wait to be acknowledged. Even if I know you, just wait to be acknowledged. Like, I don't want you walking in on me and I'm naked. So I got that. And, and Sudden apologized. I, and honestly, with Sudden's apology, I think it was sincere. I, I could be wrong, but that's the episode, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video. And to the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Whichever one you do, be safe in doing so. Be blessed, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be Sisters. And then followed by that will be BT Presents The Encore. That show was hilarious. See you guys later.